Hello, in this video, uh, I'm going to be going over the best list that is in this in this market, the best list to go after to find subject to transaction, subject to properties. So this year alone in 2023, today's August 21st, 2023, I've done 56 subject to deals and I have another uh, about nine or 10 in escrow, depending on which, which gets signed today. <clears throat> so this is this is a proven method. The house that I'm currently living in is a, is a is a house that I bought subject to from the same list. It's a it's a six hundred thousand dollar house that I got for three percent interest rate. Um, the my entire portfolio that I bring in, you know, roughly seven to eight thousand dollars a month on that is a, also a house that came from this that that came from this list. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you or going over the best list to. Um, find these houses and this is the second time I'm doing the video so because the first time I did it the I got flagged for sharing the address so um, uh, so right now we are I'm right now in Miami so you're gonna see the map of Miami but this is this is prop stream right so in, in prop stream you're able to filter what kind of houses you want to specific specifically go after and the best that best list that has worked for me in you know and you know how to, and how and I've been averaging about six to eight subject to transactions every single month is, is is using the same list. So for me, I'm gonna go to Maricopa County just because that's where I live and that's where I do majority of my deals. So there's about one point seven million dollars, one point seven million properties all across Maricopa County according to PropStream. And this is my list, and you can alter it based on how you want, but so for me, I go after houses that are, that are owner occupied and proper characteristics. I go after single family just because that's just that just been my bread bread and butter. Single family, and you can also add condo and townhouses. And then I also add vacant land. And the reason why I do vacant land is because um, these are ground up construction. So let me see. So all the homes that are built, all the homes that are built in the last two to three years are considered vacant land according to PropStream. So residential, uh, yeah, vacant land general, oops, and then that, and then that's that's what I would cons and then I would add that onto the list as well. MLS status active on market for sale because I don't want to go, I don't want to go after houses that are for rent. <laughs> I don't really typically, I don't typically mess around with uh, MLS status or MLS date, like how long it's been on the market, just because I've gotten deals on the first day of the market and I've got deals on 190 days on the market. Pre foreclosure bank loan, I don't do anything with that. Ownership info, I like to, I, I used to do two years, but now I do three years. So th three years of ownership, just because homes that were bought in 2020, they also have no equity because a lot of people refinance, a lot of people pull all their equity out. So that's also type, and I also go over individual. I don't really like to work with corporate because they're not open to some, they're not open to anything creative. And uh, lean bankruptcy divorce status, don't mess with that. Mortgage information, I like to do uh, one or two mortgages fine, but the most important thing I think the most important thing in this in this uh, in this filter specifically is you go after homes that are FHA and VA, right? So like this this is kind of like my list, and you can kind of play play along with it. So, for example, this house. Um, let me see. Let me see what this house is listed for. It's been listed for four hundred forty five thousand dollars, and their mortgage balance is four nineteen. So right, like if you were to factor in the commissions and closing costs. 445 is what they're trying to get. So if they get a full price offer, but they owe 420, their their only difference is $25,000. But but along the way they got to factor in the com commissions, they got to factor in the closing costs, they got to factor in all the, you know, repairs that the that the new buyer is going to request. And that's in and that's if they get a full price offer on this house. So <laughs> um so this is one of those one of those lists that, you know, sometimes sometimes it's what do you call it? Like they have nowhere else to go. If it was a seller finance kind of transaction, they might just take a low cash offer and they might walk away. But other, but other times they might just 
uh, or, or um, but uh, but a subject to transactions, the mortgage is staying there. So unless they unless they have to unless they're willing to cut a check for this, unless they're willing to cut a check, uh, the only way only way option is cutting a check, foreclosure or subject to. And for us, subject to is the, is the best option for us, just because we can take over low interest rates. And like I said, my house that I just bought about two months ago, it came from the exact, exact same list, and I, I and I went under contract thirty days when it went when it was on the market for about thirty days. So this is this is definitely uh, active. This is definitely one of those transactions that one of those lists that work really really well, and I can attest to it. You know, I have. Let me see, just to be openly, no, let me show you this. Let me show you all the tr all the transactions that I've done this year. Um, if this will load up, so this is a website that, oops, so this is a website that I submit all my transactions to for my transaction coordinator, right? So I've done one, two, three. Let's see, I've done fifty six subject to transactions this year. And all of this was, you, know, you can see the date that it, date when I submitted. So starting February, so technically in the last seven months, uh, seven, seven, oh, six and a half months, just within six months, I've done all these transactions. And every single one of them I closed on. So where I officially assigned and closed escrow on. So if you're, if you're not using PropStream, um, definitely something that, something to think, uh, think about. And I know it's, you know, it can be quite costly. It's $97 a month. But I have partnered with PropStream now so that if you're looking to get into, if you're looking for an affiliate link, um, I'll drop that link down below. But if you don't want to use it, which in that affiliate link will give you seven day free trial. <laughs> what, what I would recommend is you use the link for seven day free trial, cancel it, and then get another seven day trial with someone else's link so that you have, so that you can, you have access to PropStream without actually having to pay for it. But um, yeah, I will make money if I, if I get this trend, if I get, subject to transactions or where I buy the deal from you or you where you and I partner on the deal. But so a couple, you know, if you ever, you know, I have a full time transaction coordinator on salary, I have a full time acquisition guy, I have a full time disp dispositions par partner. And then um, so that if you ever come across a deal where the homeowner is actually looking to do a subject to I can I, my team, make, my team can come in and help you out. And also, like I said, with the with the with the PropStream affiliate, yes, I make money. I make 30% of the profit, which is, you know, not the end of, which is not why, why I do why I do this video is not to push affiliate with PropStream, but I just wanted you to have it. So um, thank you so much for this, for watching this video. And I hope this video gets stays on YouTube. Thank you, everyone.